This is live from the borders of the Tishrei. Here comes Raphael Ben Lazer Lipe. What a perfect name. That's my Hebrew name. Raphael Ben Lazer Lipe. My grandmother's Hebrew name, in which I only know similarity of what is her first of the Hebrew of the two names of which they call us. In actuality, there are more. Her name is Miriam. Mir, the mirror of I am. Miriam, my grandmother, she was a perfect I am to God. She sort of followed the rules that were in for the time of her life. She also sometimes didn't follow the rules. But I really never got into that story because she was around for both World War I and World War II. The Korean War and just about everything that happened in the last hundred years. In fact, my grandmother was old enough, old enough to be able to talk about anything going back to the 1890s. So I don't think there's really anybody much older than her that could have thought about anything else. Unless you're 120 years old, but by that time, news didn't travel so quick. You know what's funny about two things? Is that this, they say, is the Illuminati stretch star. But if you go over here, you see this mark here? And the mark here? I put this inside of this. You see what it does to the mug and dub it? It makes the mug and dub it up X, X, X. But the Illuminati sign only has X and X. If you take this sign and follow this, okay? Follow this. Just give me a second. I have to put my hand in this pocket. No, that pocket. No. This pocket. No, that pocket. No. If I was in anybody else's house, especially my father's, if I put my hand in the wrong pocket and he sees me pull out something that he relates to other things, he gets all mad at me. My father was mad at me for the last three days since Friday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Four days in a row, he's had the opportunity to say something to me to make me feel like, shit. Well, that's wrong. Absolutely. Do you know why? Because he could never make me feel like shit. This shit is supposed to be warm. And he's cold because he's my father. But he really doesn't know me because I probably don't open my mouth to explain myself or I jump and I walk away because I'm tired of hearing of the bullshit because nobody really knows me. I hear so many stories about me, I get scared. Holy fuck, was that the kind of guy he was? No wonder he keeps meeting up with the bad rap all the time. He was a bad man. I don't think because I don't spend my money or make enough money that that makes me a bad man. I'm trying to figure out where I am a bad man, what I do that's so wrong. Then maybe again I'm blind because I see little things that I do so wrong, but at least I see them. Now let me look into my little purse and try and show you a few things that I might pull out. Found the cards. Now the question comes like this. Now that I am making an interruption for a little commercial break, I mean, how can I, I mean, I do like a little bit of acting while I do my Mr. Tacpan stuff. Um, but um, how do I learn this? Where would I pick this up? It's obvious. It must come from other actors. If I'm acting good at all or not acting good at all, I'm picking it up from whatever I've seen. And from whatever I haven't seen, I've done the in-between. And if I've seen the scene, then I have vision the scene of what it is. The number nine card. Three eggs, only one with this in it. The other egg, if you take a look, is right here. See here? There? Here? That? This? is here. Here's your four parts. The twin towers, twin towers. Okay? This is in between, back and forth, the twin towers. Okay? The thing I just showed you is here, here, and here. The seven card, here, here, and here. And the six card is also here, here, and here. Okay? Which makes, out of the six, seven, and eight, 
6 plus 7 plus 8, which equals to 21. The 6 plus 7 plus 8 have 6 common symbols plus 2 common plus 1 solo image. You see the solo image is here's the 8 card and here's the 7 card. This is the only one that's solo. See, there's nothing down here. Here's a pair. Same, same, same. 2, 4, 6, 8, and 12. And then the 6 card will make 18. So that'll make 18 uh, matches. 18 matches? Oh my God! No wonder they brought out matches herring. Like all the Jewish names are actually what's going on in life. Jewish, Hebrew, French, very close. English to the left, still very close, just on the other side of the bridge. So what you have to know is that 6, 7, and 8, which equals 21, the 6, 7, and 8 card have six similar on each one in which one, one, and one, which is three different, okay, between one, which is on, excuse me, one and one, and one, which is one and one, which is the north star, which is similar, which I call it the northern moons. When I look at this, right, this card is actually here. This is more or less what the card should look like. Okay, now the only reason for that is because this I put over here. I match it right there. Now you have a 10 card. But this is not the way the 10 card is made. And you notice the way it's up above. One of the centers is higher. The other one you don't see. I can't explain it right now. Sometimes I know what it is. Sometimes I don't. Don't forget, it's a touchy-feely situation, this whole thing that I do. A lot has to do with the interior, first thing, first serve, first thing you think. Um, what are you thinking now? What were you thinking before? It, it's, it's, and if you ask me why it's like that, because when you, you don't always remember everything that you have done. And I can't go back to every single page that I have done, and I can't possibly remember everything. But if it's that good and that important and that right, then how come I can't remember? Because some things, they, they shift. And the, the reason that they shift is because this and this situation, one and three is the same, but one, three, and two is just a little bit different. The one and three part is the same, but adding the two, the story now switches it. Oh, you're here already? But that's not the whole story was. The story was, ah, you both arrived, but I left at 6 a.m., she left at 7 a.m. We both got her at the same time, but one lived at a different ratio and speed and distance from the same place as the other. So our stories are different, backing up a little bit. So what I wanted to show you about this, okay, about these two is X and X, 10, 20, go over here, plus 10 is 30. But when you go X, 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 10 and 10 is 20. Plus the 10 is 30, 40, 50, and then 60. This is 30, this is 60. The total is 90. But, listen, you did this as a singularity, one whole. Now let's separate it. We put this on this side, and we go 20. We put this on this side, and this is 20. Now we have to go put the one in the center. Do you understand? This only fits here and here. It doesn't spread across. This zero, okay, does not spread across. It ends up over here. This and this is over here. Then this and this is over here. 20 on one side, 20 on the other side. Or if we were using the whole one like this, we'd have 60 on this side and 60 on this side. Okay, 60 and 60. The Mercedes sign is 120 degrees between each check. 
The Mercedes sign, if you flip two on top of each other against the mug and David, would be 60 degrees in between each other, or 60 plus 1, which is the movement of the Earth of the totality of the year, making 365 days, or the moon cycle of 19 by 19 equals 361, which is a one-day turnaround, plus the movement forward, uh, guiding ourselves around the sun, making up 365.25 days of the year. We have a little bit to drink. I had a puff of a joint two minutes ago. I'm a little bit depressed tonight. I don't like hearing these always constantly down, putting me down, putting me down, putting me down, knocking me up. I don't mind saying I'm wrong. I don't mind saying I'm wrong. But understand my explanation. Sometimes others don't want to know your explanation. Why do I do what I do? Well, you know what? Let's put something another way. I'm not a lazy guy. I like to get up and go, go, and do and stop and do a little bit and don't do. But you know what? When you don't follow somebody else's rules all the time, it's not your fault. We're all a little bit different. I can't tell somebody else what to do all the time. I can make a suggestion like I do with my son, but I don't push him around. Anyways, we were off course for a second. Uh, we were talking about the, uh, the X's. We were talking about the mug and dubbids. You know what else happens to this mug and dubbid? Okay. You put one mug and dubbid here. 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 You put one mug and dubbid in the center. And then you go on. You make... This is building the houses, mug and dovids, because eventually this, if you put it up against the wall, when you look at it, okay, many, 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 even my son right now has it on his telephone. It is the sign of life. It's the 45 degree angle that creates one triangle next to the next triangle where where one side, if you look at the cards, okay, if you look at the cards, Standing up, standing up, standing up, A, B, C, three levels. That's the angle of light, keeps crossing. All the cards do the same thing. The diamonds, they're a little bit different. I call them sometimes the elephant ears. And the reason I call it the elephant ears is because you start at this point here, you go all the way around and up to here. And then you take this part of the elephant ear and you go all the way around and you come into over, over here. And now you have two elephant ears overlapping plus the open space over here. I'm not quite sure how it works. The other thing I was showing you with six, seven, and eight, it's right here. Six, seven, and eight card. This is also the sign of life. Just like I was telling you, those, those triangles that go over each other is the sign of life because that's all they do. It cross connects everything. Plus the matrix, you know the way it goes down. The reason it's going down is because it's actually um, if, if I think of it, it's actually going like this, over and down, over and down. It gets to connect each level. As they come down, you're now connecting each level. This is basically the chakra or uh, what you see in the Kabbalah. This will tell you all the numbers of what the real value of the six card is if you put this up against the roulette table. Um, so again, six, seven, and eight, which is 21. And in the deck of cards, okay... The Jack, V, the Queen, D, and the King, R, okay, also can be used in Roman numerals if you want, the Dr. Vale, Dr. Dre. Anyways, what you're going to do now is the Jack and the deck of cards, it's got six eyes. The Jack of clubs has got two eyes and he's got a little leaf over here stuck underneath his cap. Yankee Doodle went to town, riding on... Okay, then we have the Jack of Diamonds. And he has got a sword upside down, and you can see on it is a quarter moon with three dots on that quarter moon. And he's got two eyes. So now we got four. So we got two jacks with four eyes, and two jacks, the Jack of Spades, looking towards one side, and the Jack of Hearts looking the other way, each with one eye. So you got two of one eye each, two, one. 21, 12, 21, or the other two with two eyes each, two of two, four eyes for two people.
That's what it is. The queen in the deck of cards has all eight eyes. The eight eyes can represent card number eight. And the seven eyes of the jack of the, of the, uh, of the king represents the seven card. And if you look at the cards like I showed you before, the seven, eight, and nine, the six, seven, and eight, okay, all have the same here, here, and here, okay. This, okay, I want to just bring something else up because in a previous video, I had said that the two card is not represented anywhere else, okay, but in its consortium. I don't think this and this goes over here. Does it? What does this exactly explain? This might say, I am nine of this house. This would say, I am nine of this house. And this can say, I am nine of this house. I am center, I am center, I am center. You can look at it that way, depending how you want to set it up. One, two, three, four, five, six. My question always comes is, when you go one, two, three, four, five, six, is this number six over here the same as this? Do they overlap on top of each other? The reason I'm asking that is because if they did overlap, they'd be sort of shifted like this. You know what I'm saying? You know when you see those holographic staircases and it's like this one moves to here and then this one moves to here and then this one moves to here. Do you understand where I'm going, I'm going at? The other thing you always have to look at, especially as the Queen of Diamonds, is when you look, one, two, three petals, okay? We're not talking about bicycle petals, because everything we talk about, reflect on, and look back on, is that a reflection? Screw that. I want to show you something about number one. I'm going to jump all over the place. Oh, my cotton pick and tail rabbit. Let me see. Doesn't that look like, here, look. Number one, right? Number one. Number one. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta ta The letter M. The B. Over here. See this little square? I could take this square and put it right in there. And you'd have VO. Omega life. Omega one and five. A and E. The electronic world. Dee -dee -dee -dee. That's who we are electronics but we grow and the way we are built we can move we move where do we get why how can we get do we well we're not plugged into the ground we can breathe and we have to feed ourselves I mean the flowers are in the ground they go and they look for food over in the ground I mean you ever see a flower saying I mean it does happen but the flower goes oh my god I'm starving Looking at the other flowers. And, uh, anyways, okay. So let me see what I'm going to next. So I showed you that M. Because M is the letter M. They talk about it a lot. James Bond, 007, and this is M. So the M in French, when you say those that word, it says to love. It's also 1,000 in Roman numerals. It comes after the comma. Now think of it. Is that what they usually use for 1,000? Is it the comma? So when a man comes, okay, he makes 1,000. Because the comma is a number nine. Well, I don't know how to make a comma. You know how to make a comma? Is it a number nine? Or is it a dot with a little tail at the end? Like the egg got hooked up. Hey, egg, what's happening? I'm getting hooked up with some kind of sperm tonight. Yeah, we're going to really hit it off. In fact, if I like this sperm enough, I'm just going to let them swallow me up, and we'll go inside, and we'll start building together. We can do art. Yes, the sperm and the egg are artists. They can make a nose, lips. Eventually, they teach the body to grow a mustache, to wear glasses, and to think and put yamakas on, purple and gray and blue and no colors. How smart can the egg be the electronic world where the actual sperm is still in your head 
in which the sperm has to do with that energy vibration that's natural on the earth. But the mercury or whatever iron or whatever chemicals we have in our body that can be controlled within the airspace or gravity, because we are being pulled down, don't forget. And I weigh 160 pounds. I don't know what my real material weighs. But we're being pulled down by all these waters. So you don't think. Metal. I'm talking to you. Hello, computer world. Sitting in your den. You're just a human being. But it's coming in over the internet. Somehow, electronically, there's electricity in your house in front of your face right now. Somehow, you're getting the energy and the power. We're hooked up together. Hey, guy, touch my hand. That's right. We can all touch each other's hands right now. Do you know how? Even though I don't know you're touching my hand, you will know if you touch my hand. I just won't know. Oh my God. Oh my God. Don't tell me. Please don't tell me. Wow. Wow, this is crazy. You, you don't know what's happening here, my friends. Wow, 1036 right on the mark. 1036 on the 18th, the second month, 2013. Wow. Wow. I don't, I don't know if this is real. Did you miss any of this? Did something just happen? This is just the weirdest thing. All of a sudden, my whole computer froze, and I was sitting here talking. So let me, let me think of where I was. So we had the Jack, Queen, and King, which is card 11, 12, and 13, which is 36. Add it up to the 6, 7, and 8 card, which was 21. Plus 36 is 57. I've never gotten that answer before. 6 plus 7 plus 8 equals 21. Jack plus queen plus king equals 36 is 57. Plus jack 10, queen 10, king 10 equals 50, uh, 30, 51. Plus jack, queen, King equals 0, plus 21 equals 21, plus um, we have to understand jack, queen, and king as there's, there's another answer for this, because what I did is when you play blackjack, jack, queen, king are only worth 10. I have to go through all the games. Wherever you see a coincidence, you must match it and give it that, um, that definition. That's all. In its own singularity, not used anywhere, give it that definition. You get the flow. You get the feeling of its true value in other places. That's why I'm saying sometimes you feel this way and that way. Because it's not now. I don't know all the answers now. But in 20 and 30 and 40 years from now, as I keep going through the same motion, I will know what I have seen and my body, my body will judge hopefully, passionately, towards everything I have seen. When I say my body is going to choose passionately, my mind, it's not going to be biased. It's going to choose it as it's learned it, as, as like a computer program of some sort. And why am I saying 20 and 30 years, and that's a long time? Because first of all, I mean, okay, your daughter is going to school tomorrow. That's it. Tomorrow's her last day. Why should she go anymore? We should just know it now, remember it all, and, because we keep learning. And learning and learning. And in, I mean, you thought a man walked on the moon. Well, let me tell you one thing. We all walk on our moon. Okay? We all walk on the moon. Pending if we're all looking at the situation the same way. You're talking about the moon in the sky. Tonight there's a half a moon. Can you believe it? My grandmother came into the world on a half moon she leaves tonight the sky is a little bit clear it's very cool tonight and it's now down to a half moon you don't get it you see because i see it all a little bit differently 
My grandmother just passed away yesterday. She's died. She's dead. She lied so straight in that coffin. That bothered me more than anything else because she looked like a princess. I swear. She looked just like Queen, the Queen of England. Okay, but lying down in the box, of course. I mean, they probably both look, oh, she looked beautiful. I never saw her. She looked so beautiful, I just cried because she looked like just a little baby. Oh, my God, did she look beautiful. Everybody's probably saying, that guy's sick. She's in the coffin. But she ain't coughing no more. And you know what? Right now, her memory is better now than anything else. Like, I always try to figure it out. And I'm sitting at my grandmother's one day, and she puts her head back, and falls asleep. And as she's falling asleep, is she thinking of anything? Like, what makes her completely forget everything and just fall asleep? Are they really at peace? Anyway, so we all know V and O. Now we're going to go back. Oh, this is a 25-minute video. And I didn't even get to do the page before, so I'm going to have to do another video with what I have next because I didn't even start we did the 789, we did the Jack Queen King. I show this to my father, he says, ah, you went to the casino. Oh my God, like, what the fuck? Holy shit. You're damn right I went there. They got so much good stuff. They got these, and they don't really want you to have them. And I said, hey man, he says, he says, but you know French. I don't care. I want to look at it. I want to see the way it's spelt. I want to understand Jack I want to understand the D Queen and I under want to understand the R King. Do you know what's the R King? What's an R King? The Ark? The Ark King. R King. R King. The Ark. Listen to the words. Listen to what you say. We're not looking for a book that is done. We're not looking to repeat what anybody's ever done before. We're looking just to see if we can get something that works, that makes sense. We're not looking. You know what? I'm looking at the sky, and I see a snake over there. I see a monkey over there, and I see a big bridge over there. Can you see that bridge? Can you, can you see that bridge? Where is it? Let me hold on a second. Uh, where is that bridge? Oh, yes, there's the bridge. Can you see the bridge? You see it's uh, right there. It goes all the way across to there. And then this one goes up and around, and there's a musical note over there, and there's the the bear. See the bear with his nose right here? See his eyes right here? His mouth, his nose. Because I, uh, see the thumb? Can you see the, right here? Right here, you see the way it's a 3D effect? Right there. And then there's a little mountain. And you see what the, all this smoke is in the background? It's trains. They're all the trains. They're going for a ride, all the trains. See that thumb thing over there? And then, I, I didn't know it was coming out better tonight. See the dog? Hold on, let me see if I can... I don't know why I can't get on the other side. Where is it? This way, this way, this way. Oh, anyways, let me see where are you. Okay, uh, there was one thing I'm going to repeat that I've repeated before. The Hebrew circle of life sent by the rabbi who sounded like he's come from some other town. The Hebrew circle of life, a bagel with a bullseye's egg standing up in the center with two strips of bacon already makes you look like you're in jail. That's why they say no bacon. You got to put a piece of cheese on top to connect both sides of the bagel and melt the cheese in the egg. So the cheese goes around your pineal gland in your head and saves you for the rest of your thought for life until they burst the bubble. And the yellow flows as the yellow goes. I don't know why, but in my project, yellow is so big, and yellow is Jesus Christ, the energy. So I don't know what it means. All I know is that lightning bolt, lightning is big time, especially the eggs. Uh, to end this in my next uh, video until, the, uh, until the, uh, the prayers are over, although I really don't understand why we pray, but I do understand why we pray that, from my grandmother. 
I'm always going to say it here, Bob, Bobby Mary Frank Zaritsky. How can I say rest in peace? Well, I don't see anything as dead after you've left this world. Only we see you as dead because you're not here. You were buried in the ground. But how can I tell you to rest in peace? If there's work to be done, then don't rest at all. If you want to do it, get it done. I'm recognizing the angels in heaven. Go, go, go. Go do your thing, good and evil. Let's see what comes upon the land. Only we can do the rest of the good for who we are as people, and then that's how we'll be buried away at the end, because at the end, all our energy is stripped from us, from a mortal being. So a mortal being to what I've seen. Thank you, and have a nice... Have a nice... Be well, my friends. I mean, be well to all. Did you know... When you get to 30, you have reached half. Why? Because 30 is half of 60, and 60 are the four pillars. F-O-U-R. Fee-fi-fo-fum. You're. You are. You're in. See, I always come up with these new things. I don't know what it is. F-O-U-R. You see, the total in the gematria is 60, and half of that is 30. Isn't it funny? Four parts... Four parts of 60 equals 15, which equals one quarter. Holy shit, what the hell is he talking about? Well, that's right, my friend. Four parts of 60 equals 15 seconds. 15 seconds is one quarter of an hour. 15 equals to the egg. Four, F-O-U-R, equals 60. 60 seconds equals... E-I-E-I-O. So I hope it goes good for all of you. Scientifically, I couldn't tell you very much. You want to know where I get my science from? My science comes from Warner Brother Production. Watch what's on TV, Atlantis TV. How watches are built, Mickey Mouse, and up goes the mouse, the clock goes down. The mouse comes down, and the grandfather clock hasn't ticked yet in years. Yet the Liberty Bell is still cracked, and the clock in Back to the Future is still stuck. So we're waiting for that lightning bolt to come in to help us to survive the rest of the time. You can't follow where I am? 20, 21 months left on my grid for many people to discover the new world. 20 to 21 months. E-I-E-I-O. Nursery rhymes. This is where my science is. Whoever built this keyboard and put each letter where they belong. And to psychology, where they helped me to learn whatever your th first thought was, is what we want to know. And then I figured out why. Raphael 7286. And the constellation of Pegasus. Listen to this. I'm going to make a little wager here. Although there's no one to wager with, I'm going to wager it with myself. And now unless somehow I get very popular, okay, first to start off, there is no way, okay, I would say five people and less out of this video, five people and less will watch the whole thing. But out of every hundred, I don't expect this video to get a hundred on it for the minimum of six months. There's no reason. Because the title I'm going to put on the front, terribly boring. A whole bunch of hogwash, bullshit, crap. What this guy's trying to sell to us. And I go, wait a second. All I want to put over on you is... 33 minutes of uninterrupted stuff, I guess. Sometimes I'm lost for words, and I'm not sure what to say. But I'm trying to do it the right way. Give you a little entertainment, try and teach you something. Well, I don't know if I'm teaching you, but every time I watch somebody else who's not teaching me, I always seem to learn. So we'll leave it at that. Can we leave it at 34-31 and have it as the same score as the Super Bowl? In fact, you know what was really funny? My cousin comes in from New Jersey, and his license plate is H31ACV, which is the score of the football game, 3431. Thank you for watching.